Hello YouTube. In this video what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to transfer your reference photo image onto your drawing paper using a graphite paper transfer method. Let's get to it. Okay, in a previous video, you might recall that I showed you how to use the grid method that's very popular in transferring a reference photo, such as this rose here, onto your drawing paper so that you can then go on with your shading and creating your art. In this video, I'm going to show you another method and it's not a commonly used method, but you might find it useful and it's always good to have options. And so let's get right into what that is. Using graphite transfer paper, such as this Royal Langnickel graphite transfer paper, is one approach to getting your reference image onto drawing paper. Now the drawing paper that I'm using for this example is, is Arches Watercolor. And I'll just go ahead and show you what that is. But that's this one right here, 140 pound Arches. It's a watercolor. And normally what I will do, and this by the way is a hot press, and it's 100% pure cotton. It's not an inexpensive paper it is expensive and you get just 12 sheets and you're going to pay for them so you really want to make sure that the method you're using of transfer is going to be worthy of the paper otherwise you're going to be wasting paper and money now I usually use the smooth side instead of the one that's got a little more texture to hold the water coloring and how you do this for example is that you Put your, you put your image centered onto your paper, and then I'll just use some uh, tape here. I'm, I'm using a drafting tape, Pacific Arc Drafting. And then you want your tissue papered graphite transfer paper which you can see is a very thin tissue paper. One side is coated with graphite and the other side is, is just the tissue paper. And it looks a whole lot like carbon paper that is, was commonly used um, some years ago to transfer your image onto you know, another piece of paper or whatever. But this one here is coated with graphite just like graphite from your pencil. And so you would put that carefully between your image and your paper. And you want to be careful that you don't press down all over your paper and smudge your drawing paper due to the um, tissue paper that you have, this graphite transfer paper that you have in between the drawing paper and your reference and another note too by the way in using this method is is your reference should be just on regular printer paper not on photo paper because the stock photo paper stock is very thick and it'll be very difficult to get your image transferred onto your drawing paper without pressing really hard which is a no-no for this method because if you press too hard and you leave an indentation into your drawing paper, it is going to show up when you start shading. It'll come up as white lines uh, and, and it's just, uh, you, know, you, can, you can't erase it. It becomes a permanent feature of your art. Then what you want to do is you can take a pencil, 
for example, or what I like to do is I like to take a red pen because, you know, you have the roller point on the bottom or on the tip, I should say, and uh, let me pull that off. And you can come in here and as you're drawing, and you don't want to put a lot of pressure, you don't even need to put a lot of pressure, you just just normally write over all the lines careful that the bottom of your hand is it pressing down that graphite into your paper just kinda come in here and trace out all the edges that you want to show up onto your drawing paper and with the red pen the nice thing is is that you'll be able to see where you have already drawn and so you don't have to keep drawing over the same area which is just as bad as pressing down on the paper if you keep going over the same area because you couldn't see your pencil marks in this you know black and white photo which is real easy but the red shows up really nice or you can use blue or green or whatever that will show up and uh, that way you'll know what you've already drawn and then when you're done doing that let me just put this pen away here. Then you can take the reference photo and the transfer paper and just kind of flip it up and down and see whether you got everything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And what you're going to be left with is this image sketch image of your reference photo okay as you can see that I'll get up close there you can see just looks like regular pencil marks and there's the original and there's that and so that is one way now with this particular method of using this transfer paper um, there is one caveat to using this particular approach where you buy your uh, graphite paper, this, this thing called a transfer paper. I'll show you what they actually call it here. It says how to transfer a pattern. It's transfer paper and they show you here your graphite paper and your tracing paper. And then you, you do this onto your painting surface. The problem with this method using it directly on your printer paper is going to be demonstrated right now and that is you don't want you don't want these lines to be visible when you're done drawing you know shading your so you want to come in here for example and you want to erase so I'm going to erase this line right here. Okay, that's a lot of rubbing. Okay, that's a lot of rubbing. And you can see the line is still pretty much there. This particular method that I have found um, using the transfer paper, unfortunately, uh, the problem is, is that you uh, cannot get it erased it will not completely erase and I don't I mean this if I have to use this much effort then that's not a good thing because you really want it to be able to lift off using your needed eraser so because you want to be able to just kinda touch it up and do all this stuff and and as you can see I am not being very successful and getting it all up with this um, method here so this is the part I don't like uh, it's great if you're a painter because it's all going to get covered and even my shading I should be able to get most of this to blend in so it, it may not necessarily be an issue except if those lines end up in some very light areas of your drawing then that's an issue and I wouldn't want to take a chance you'd be 10 hours into your drawing and then you realize I got a line here that's showing it's in a light area of my drawing and uh, it's unacceptable. So, what can you do? 
Well, here's my suggestion. Grab yourself a graphite stick. They call them graphite blocks. This one here, uh, these are 2B blocks from uh, Koinor. And I'm just going to take one of my... Uh, so I'm going to take uh, one of these out here, this 2B. And I'm going to take my reference that was printed. And you can see that you can see... You can even see it in the back here, which is really nice because it's not thick paper. It's just printer paper. And what you want to do is you want to take your graphite and you want to just lay it down on the back of your reference photo just like this. Make sure you cover everything. Very easy to do. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit here. I'm not going to do this whole thing. All right, there we go. Let me put that away. Now, you take your drawing paper, such as this here, and you're going to now center your image to where you want it. And I'll just tape it right there on the top. I'm going to take my pen again and just so gently and lightly I'm going to outline just a few petals here of this rose just so you can see how this works. Normally I wouldn't rush like this but this is just a quick demo. I have no intentions of using this after I'm done in this video here. But let me just go ahead and quickly do this so I don't bore you to death. But I want you to see how this works. Okay, I think I probably have enough transferring done here. I'm going to go ahead and put my pen away and then remove this and then show you that I have this very nice but light sketch. See that? It's very, very light, which is perfect for um, your transfer. But the question is now, will I be able to erase it? Well, number one, the fact that it's this light is perfect because it will easily blend into whatever you're going to draw but in case you do need to get rid of stuff here I am going to use my kneaded eraser again and let's see if we can you know take this off and I'm just going to take the middle part out here gone look at that perfect nothing there so this is the suggested method it's for you to just use your printer paper that you you printed your image on, coat it with some 2B. If you go softer than that, that's going to be even darker, but I believe it will still come off because I've tried it before and it does. But this is nice because it's very, very, very light. You can probably barely see it in the camera. I could barely see it right here, but I could see it enough to where I can start doing my shading and then I can easily erase this. It is wonderful. So this is a nice simple approach and then when you're done with all your tracing and everything, you just crumble this up, throw it in the trash, print another one out, uh, same scale of course and everything so that you can use it as your reference. And, and by the way, your reference photo, it's, it's always better that you, you print it on photo paper so you can get all the crisp details but for your initial transferring, this works just fine. And it also is great when you're using a light box, which will be the topic of my next drawing tutorial. So you definitely want to make sure that you subscribe so that you're informed of that next uh, video. Well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now.